Hey everyone, it's Sunam here again with Seller Mobile with another one of my Minute to Get It videos. So uh, today, thanks for joining. I'm going to be going over how to add your item cost into the Seller Mobile web application. So let's dive right into it. So it's really important for you to be able to differentiate between cost and profit analysis. Profit analysis is really important because Amazon doesn't really give you all of the information for you to be able to get that big picture and bottom line number. Um, and at the same time, you shouldn't have to give or you shouldn't give Amazon any of your cost information because if your product takes off or it's a big hit, then there's always that chance that Amazon will start to sell that product themselves and it's never good to have them as your competition. So basically, putting cost in Amazon is not recommended, but let me tell you, when you put your cost details in Seller Mobile, it's safe and it's easy. So if you look in the Seller Mobile software, many places like here with an inventory listing, you'll see the amount here for cost of goods and the processing cost. Um, a lot of time people are processing their inventory in 3PL or in their own warehouse and they have figured out the math um, of what that cost is per item to fulfill the order. Um, we show you the cost of goods and processing costs separately so you can truly see what the item cost is and what the processing cost is. So let's get into where you can actually input this stuff into the Seller Mobile software. Um, let's go ahead and pull up an actual item by clicking on the product name and uh, you'll see this light box pop up and once that happens you'll be able to see all the details for that listing um, and then go ahead and click on price and cost. Um, there are two ways to add the cogs and uh, or the cost of goods and processing cost um, and in this video I'm going to go over one of them. So I'll show you the quick way that you can do in the light box if you have 30 to 50 items it's really relatively simple. Um, so cost, you can really look at it from the FOB perspective, which is shipping from another country like China, or you can look at landed cost of an item. So landed cost is whatever the cost for you was, including the shipment to your warehouse or your facility or 3PL. If you are shipping directly to Amazon and everything is bundled up into one, then you might not need the processing cost, but if you're bringing it into your warehouse and you're using it, shape, you know, doing something, processing it, then you want to add those costs in there. Um, so right here, you'll be able to enter in all of the cost. Um, if you notice, there are four ways to enter your cost. Uh, your cost of goods sold in this instance is $1.14 per unit. Again, this is per unit cost, so it's not per order. So if somebody, let's say, buys three, it'll cost three times $1.14. Um, if you're shipping directly from your facility, you should not... Um, you should put landed costs to your facility and add the processing cost on top of that. But if you're shipping it directly to Amazon, you can just update this and that should do it. So the second cost here is, again, the processing cost and it's divided into two fields here. Um, and remember, it's always those little costs that you don't necessarily calculate that really end up hurting you. Um, at the end of the day, Amazon is um, a game of small margins and your competitive edge here is to really understand those little costs like processing that um, usually are overlooked. So processing costs, you have two ways again here, um, per unit and per order. So processing cost per unit um, is saying it takes me 25 cents to let's say pick this particular item. So if it costs me 25 cents um, to pick this item and I have 10 items per order, then I know that my uh, processing cost for this order is gonna be $2.50. Um, and if that's the case, then you're going to need to input 25 cents here, which is per unit. Um, but let's say you say it doesn't matter if I pick one of these or if I pick 20 of these. My processing cost is going to be the same. Then at that, at that point, you're going to go ahead and select this second field, which is per order. So again, to recap, processing cost, um, the first box is per unit and the second is per order, where it doesn't matter, um, you know, however many times you have to touch the item, it's just that same cost. Um, so let's go ahead and update that cost here. Um, if you, you know, um, again, if you have many items, you can update that using the bulk upload tool. And I'm going to add a link to that video below. Um, here on the top right, if you look, you'll see these check boxes. So you can check off this, um, any one of these boxes to update past orders. So if you do that, um, you take that cost, you're saying that the, take, the cost will be taken and inputted and applied to all of your past statistics and calculations. So let's say you started with us today. Um, we would take this item cost that you've entered and apply it two years back to get you more analytics. 
Um, or if you don't want to apply that cost to your past orders, then don't check this box. So let's say your cost has changed. So for example, you know this item went from being 25 cents to now being 35 cents. Um, you don't want to check inside this box because you want all the past orders to be um, calculated and everything to be um, you know with that 25 cents cost. Um, you know, and going forward, you want it to be that 35 cents. So really, that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the bulk upload item cost tool below. Uh, thank you for watching me. Subscribe to Seller Mobile. Let us know what we can do for you. Let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And I hope to see you next time. May the sales be with you.